Hi everybody, happy Easter. I'm going to make a traditional Easter delicacy from London or uh, from England. It is called, yes, it is called hot cross buns, okay? I have an enriched dough happening. So that's milk, eggs, butter, apples, mixed peel, sultanas, lemon zest, orange zest, brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, and strong bread flour. I'm gonna start by just mixing these ingredients together, like so. Then I'm going to add my dried fruit. Then we go in with the egg, then some butter. Then we're gonna add the milk and the yeast, okay? Because this is an enriched dough, it will take slightly longer for the bread dough to proof. I always start to mix my doughs with a fork. The bigger the fork, the better, okay? And then what we look to do with the dough is we look, we're gonna look to bring it together on the table surface. Yeah? So I just took the dough from the bowl and I'm just gonna start to knead this dough gently, okay? And what we're looking for is the dough to become nice and elastic. And I need to knead this by hand for about five minutes, okay? So when we proof though, the reason we call it proofing is because we're gonna prove that the yeast is working. So when it doubles up in size, that's telling me that the dough is working correctly. So that is the proof. Proof is in the pudding, as they say. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're bringing the outside into the middle and then using our heel to roll it back out. That's what's gonna work the gluten. So when we make enriched doughs, that means what an enriched dough is, it's slightly heavier than your average bread dough. So it's gonna mean it's probably gonna take a little longer to proof, okay? You can never rush the proofing. It must be double or at least double and a half for an enriched dough, okay? Okay, the dough's looking nice and smooth and elastic now. The fruit's running through it nicely. It smells amazing. I can smell all the spices, all the fruit running through the dough itself. I'm gonna set that up in just a greased container. Like this, just a square one, because what happens is the dough hit the sides and it'll force it to go up. Just a touch on top, that's gonna stop it going too moist. Then I'm gonna add a lid. So we'll see him in about two and a half hours. Thank you very much. All right guys, hot cross bun, a part de, okay? So I said about proofing. That has given us proof that the dough has risen. So now we're gonna do the second stage of proofing. So this is the first stage to get some air into the dough. Now we're gonna shape and put the dough onto some trays, okay? Because we're working with a sh quite a sugary dough, it's gonna have quite a sugary content to it. So after you prove it, it will be a little bit sticky, okay? So we're just gonna knock him back slightly. Knock him back just means to take the air out. It's gonna help us to get a smoother dough, okay? Now when it comes to this part, you can cut it into six equal pieces if you think you're that good, or you can weigh it and divide it by six, okay? I'm gonna do the weight method because I want it to come out nice and even. And my dough weighs 734 grams. Could you let me know how much that is divided by six, please, my glamorous assistant? 122 grams each, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just getting these to the right size now. Okay, so now I have the pucks the right size. So with the tray, I'm just gonna use a touch of this spray oil, not too much. And just a little flour to dust, okay? So again, just using my hands and my thumb. So my thumb rolls it and my hands shape it, okay? With the hot cross buns, as we're looking for them when they rise, to touch each other a little bit. So just bear that in mind when you put them on the tray, okay? But when they double in size, they're gonna start to touch. Probably have to taste it. We might have to taste one or two for sure. <laughs> I'm really happy with these. The doughs come out really nice. It smells great. It's got all the lovely flavors of Easter that I like. Just gonna shape that into another bowl. Nice. I've got a nice bit of separation. I want them literally just to touch when they're ready, okay? Now I'm just gonna give them a quick little spray across the top, nothing too much. I'm just gonna wrap them in a bit of plastic wrap and then they're gonna proof for another, at least another hour, okay? Just remember when you're using the plastic wrap, not to wrap them too tightly, okay? Because it will restrict the dough from rising. Can we come back to those in an hour? Quality. Now we're gonna make the cross. Very simple, got a little bit of just flour in the bowl, and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of water at a time, okay? I'm just gonna start with three and to see how it comes along. I need to make a nice paste for this, okay? I'm just gonna add one as we go, maybe two, maybe two more. So I need to make sure there's no lumps in this, okay? 
So we're going to make a nice paste, but it's got to be lumpless. We've got to dissolve the flour into the water for very important, okay? That's the consistency we're looking for, okay? Okay, so our hot cross buns are ready, okay? They're going to very gently just remove this cling film, just tuck him back in. Now, the reason it's called a hot cross bun is because we need to make a cross. I'm just going to take our flour and water paste and I'm going to make that cross across the buns now. Do one straight line all across everything. Don't worry about trying to separate it. That's why we do them together. Bakers in London need to make about 600 of these every Easter. These smell absolutely delicious. The yeast proof nicely. I've got my oven set to 425, guys, okay? These are going to go in there for about 20 minutes. Tap to see if they're hollow. And then we're gonna just brush them with a nice bit of jam for a glaze, okay? In the oven they go. Be gentle when you put them in the oven. Don't throw it in the oven and slam the door, okay? Night, night. Happy Easter. Hello guys, we're gonna make a nice glaze for our hot cross buns now, okay? Usually I would use apricot jam, but all I've got is a little bit of blackcurrant, which is fine. So it's three spoons of blackcurrant jam, two spoons of water. And we're gonna turn this into a syrup on the gas, okay? We're just gonna warm it up. We're gonna brush our beautiful buns with it, okay? Okay guys, the moment of truth. Hot cross buns. Okay, good, they look good. Nice. I've got the nice distinctive hot cross bun look going across there. If I tap them, they're nice and hollow. I'm gonna cover them with a clean tea towel just for now. What that's gonna do is gonna allow when the steam to escape is to soften it a little bit, so it's not too dry, okay? When we soften them, it's gonna allow us to keep them for a couple of extra days, all right? I'll do this with some breads, not all breads, but just a few. And then we're gonna glaze them with a bit of jam. See you soon. So we finished off with our syrup. We want it with a little consistency, but not too thick, because we don't want jam on top of it. We just want to glaze it a little bit. So these have been resting underneath the cloth nicely. They look good. They've softened up a little bit. Now I'm just going to brush them a little glaze, okay? It's quite classic. Apricot jam is always classic with these, but like I said, I don't have any apricot jam. And I ain't going to the shop, because I want to eat one. <laughs> Just brush each one generously. Don't be shy with it. We want a nice glaze on each one, okay? Don't feel like you have to go and get an apricot jam either. Just do what I'm doing. We're just looking for the sugar and the water content just to glaze these buns up nicely, okay? These look amazing. I'm very happy with them. For a homemade batch, it looks pretty good. I've made six. If you want to make more, you easily can. You just double the recipe or triple it. And that's it, guys. Hot cross buns, done. So once the glaze is on, these are ready to eat. I recommend having a butter dish in the house so you've always got a nice bit of soft butter to lather on. I'm gonna get off camera and munch one of these right now while nobody's looking. Enjoy guys, a very happy Easter. Stay safe everyone. Hot cross buns, wash.